Welcome back to us all in the proof, and we are the, the Windy, Windy City, City Tasters. Tasters. And we, here we are celebrating our St. Patty's Day event with yeah, our week long extravaganza Irish whiskey number four. Yes, and there's a lot it's of there's a lot of S's in there. It's Powers, one of the most popular. Remember, it's three. Uh, it's three major distilleries in Ireland only after all these years. So this is Powers and this is the limited release of John's Lane. And this has, unlike a lot of Irish whiskeys, this has an age statement. But they did that. It's, it's 12 years and it's a delicious 92 proof. 92. I say delicious because the more the more proof you get, the more punch you get, the more yeah. punch you get on yeah. your tongue. That's where it's all at. Single pot still. Now we're going to pot stills like they do bourbon here in the, in the United States. They use the old pot still. It's, it's triple distilled. And, and uh, this, this is this is this is mature. Remember, twelve years old. And it still has, it has a spice taste. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. Yeah, we're, gonna go taste, we're gonna taste. We're gonna be tasting that spice. Okay. Uh, but it's it's matured in bourbon and Oloroso sherry cast. So that's interesting. That's that's you get a bourbon cast, ex bourbon cast, American cast, and you get ex Spain Oloroso sherry cast. So it's like you get a trifecta of, of malted. <laughs> you get the trifecta of malt, malted barley, American bourbon. And uh, Oloroso Sherry from Spain, and uh, the the John's Lane on the label is, is named after the distillery that it's closed now. It's long gone, but they preserve the heritage of that whiskey by making it traditionally as it was at John's Lane. And a lot of uh, we didn't get into this early on on our Irish whiskeys. A lot of Irish whiskeys, scotches made in Scotland, use American. But bourbon. Irish whiskeys are made in Ireland. You like like they snuck, they they making them immigrants that run all over there, making all everything. They for used to, <laughs> so. but these companies use American bourbon barrels that have been used by us, and this, rather than throw the barrel away, you got companies willing to buy them. So Scotch companies buy American barrels. Irish companies use American barrels, and, and they use select American barrels. Exactly, Jameson uses his own exact select American barrels from a certain unnamed distillery. Right, so there's certain flavors still left in the barrels that they get from America, but that's part of their ingredients, part of their flavor profile. So you kind of get two continents in one bottle, and this one you get three. Right, you get some, American, Ireland, and Spain. Some of our, our bourbons here are in new charred oak barrel. Right, brand new. These Freshly usually are in used American bourbon barrels, but as a plus, they gain the flavor that's still left in the barrel. All right, son. All right. Let's put a visual on this. Yes, we shall. Wow, look at that coating. Look at them legs. Yes. Oh, thick. some thick legs. Thick and thick. thick legs. <laughs> thick legs. Yeah, thick, sexy legs. Color. It's like the... The the color is like like really balanced. It's like a soft gold, like like more, more bronze. And what we mentioned, we hit twelve year. Yeah, single pot still. It's, like, it's like a steady coming. color for a twelve year. It's not it's, it's it's not it's not very like most Irish whiskeys. They're they aren't very dark in color. They're they're like they have like a bronze feel to them, in, in, in the in the color. Okay. All right. Let's nose it up. Let's whiff. Here we go with the whiff. Oh, that's a very. Very sweet, very fruity. You can, uh, I, since I'm a scotch drinker, if you like scotch, I already, I, I can already sense that sherry presence and that that ex bourbon presence in there, and okay. that and that twelve year. Ooh, that's a very, it's a, that's a very distinguishable nose. Yeah, yeah. all right, is a trained nose. Here we go with the taste. Oh man, this this is fine, fine, fine. Just like the fine legs we just saw in the bottle, it's a fine whiskey. You can tell by the shape of the bottle. Fine. That is nice. Is is but the the finish is fast. But yeah, the flavor. The, 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 the flavor is there. It, ha there. it has some hang time, but the finish is 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 quick. And you got a little bit of a little burn. You got a little burn. It's a sweet burn. It, yeah, it's, it's not harsh. It's smooth. That comes with extra horsepower. Yeah, with the 92. 
Right. So it, it's bold. It makes a bold statement, but then it says, "Okay, I'm out. See you later." Right. But it has so a it's, sweet. It's flavorful. It, yeah. It, 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 it's, it's a sweetness left that's left on your palate. Right. Like a, it's a spicy. It's a, it's a little. Sp- that's where the spices that, were. Yeah, the spices is, is afterwards. Right. Let's oh. see if this, let's see if the Q opens yeah, it up. Drop that Q in there. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's Man, we here. are partying. Blinging over here. Blinging over there. Blinging everywhere. Here we go. We make a music. Ding. Right. And we switch it around to kind of. We don't want to say dilute. Dilute is such a curse word in the right. Scotch world. Kind of open it but, up. Yeah, we want to open it up. Mm-hmm. Professionally. Bling, bling, y'all. I definitely taste more sherry in this. But I, I taste I taste I taste a bourbon edge, a sherry front and a bourbon. It's like sherry's in the front seat and her kids bourbon is this in the front. This is bourbon, probably the bourbon is in the back seat. This is kind of the taste they were looking for. You know, that's, the, you that's why they have to be a You need to be slapped. <laughs> this is why they selected these sherry. Yes, they they now, had they they had my dad got a strong point. They right. hand picked both the sherry. It's finished. It's finished and it's, it's matured. It's 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 aged first mm-hmm. in the bourbon, and it's and that that's for the color and the principal base flavor. Right. It's yeah. matured and finished off in it's the sherry. sherry. Yeah. So, that, that sound- so that, that that's why that sherry is that. Is that that fire, that sculpting at the end, right? You know, that you get an old fashioned single pot still method. And, and I'm I'm gonna let y'all know this is this this can't be found everywhere. So if you find it, grab it. Price point, roughly. Uh, this is like seventy bucks. Okay. So uh, between sixty four and seventy bucks, depending on your state, and applicable taxes. I don't know. Look. Neat. This is neat first. Neat. Neat. What you got? Nah. Oh my God. Yep. Neat. For the first for the first time neat. ever, my dad got a higher score. Right. Neat. Than, than me. <laughs> neat. And this is this is what your this this, this, this is your fourth fourth, fourth Irish, Irish whiskey, whiskey ever in his sixty years on Earth. Yep. And this exactly. is like my nine hundred and, and I, 40 and I, think, years on I Earth. think what it was, the additional horsepower brought out the flavors, you know, maybe huh. it that, that that may have set set the score higher for me. So and then uh with a cube. With a cube it, it, it kinda melted out. So if I had the strength of a a nine on that, I have to go with an eight. And I go I go with a seven with a cube. Right. This it just came down one point. But it's still outstanding for a twelve-year-old. Yeah, yeah, it's Irish very whiskey. good. It's a very easy drink. Yes, I, I would have gave it a nine if the finish stayed, if the finish lingered longer, right. it didn't just, you know, because for such horsepower and and the sherry maturation, you want it to stay. You want it. You want it to be like, no, baby, don't go, don't leave me, bed, bed. Right. You know, so. Uh, but this is nice. So this I, I mean, very I, nice. I know there are people that don't don't seem to hate mail, please. But you know, sometimes I am a little harsh on, on it. But this this is very very well worth it if you see it, yes, get it. Yes. And uh, you know you know my motto. I prefer a neat. Okay. But you know what? We got even more stuff coming. Yes, we do. Mo 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 mo. Unknown stuff. Yeah. Uh, don't even look over there. Okay. <laughs> so until next time, it's all in, in the, the proof. proof.